Hey, Pam McLaughlin here from SarahDermTV.com. This is episode 24. In this episode, I'm going to show you a quick singles exercise that will help you work up your singles. Uh, if you want free snare drum sheet music for this exercise and you're watching this on YouTube, simply head over to SarahDermTV.com, find episode number 24, and there's a big button right underneath that video that you can click on. It'll take you straight to the sheet music for this exercise. All right, so let's go ahead and get into it. Like I said, this is a singles exercise. Uh, that will really help you work on your consistency and flow of your singles. It's very similar to the flam tap flow exercise that we worked on in episode 22, I believe. Okay, um, so the first measure of this exercise consists of beats one and three being six tuplet singles. Okay, so we'll have six notes on beat one, and then on beats two and four, we're gonna play. Eighth notes with a flam on the end. Okay, so beat one will be a six tuplet. Beat two will be an eighth note with a flam on the end. Beat three will be a six tuplet. Beat four will be eighth notes with a flam on the end as well. Okay, so the first measure sounds like this. In the second measure, we play two beats of uh, six tuplet singles, followed by two beats of alternating eighth note flams. Now, it's important to note that the downbeat of beat three is a regular note. There's no flam on it. So just the and of three, the downbeat of four, as well as the and of four have flams on them. Okay, so the second measure will sound like this. All right, so the first two measures together will sound like this. Now, in measure three, we simply play the same thing as measure one, and then in measure four, we play a full measure of six tuplet singles. Okay, so four beats of six tuplet singles. So the entire exercise will sound like this. And that's the exercise. I'm going to go ahead and play it for you now. I'm going to play it at 115 beats per minute so you can get an idea as to what it sounds like. Just a little bit quicker than that. One, two, ready, go. Alright, now you want to focus on a couple things here. You want to work on smooth singles, right, keeping every single note sounding the exact same, same volume all the way across, and uh, having the rhythmic momentum push to the downbeat of, of every beat, um, and making sure that there's no stuttering or stall, and that the rhythmic uh, momentum keeps the exercise moving along, okay? You also want to listen for your flam quality as you switch from hand to hand, and also that you're not putting an extreme accent on any of the flams. If you want to put a little bit of an emphasis on the notes with the flams on them, that's okay. Uh, but you want to make sure that you're not completely accenting them and they're sounding much, much louder than the singles, okay? Um, so that's it for this exercise. Uh, as I said, it's really great to work on your singles and especially alternating uh, going from singles to another rhythm. Uh, I've had a couple people email me saying that they, first of all, have trouble with their singles, which is why I wanted to, to present this exercise today. And uh, secondly, that they have trouble transitioning from singles using, uh, if they use fingers for their, their singles and then transitioning to another rhythm uh, where they don't need to use quite as much uh, finger motion. Alright, so this is an exercise that will really allow you to focus on that and help improve that in your own playing. Okay, so thank you very much for watching. I really, really appreciate it. If you have a second and you know of a drum student or a drummer friend of yours who you think would uh, enjoy this exercise, please take a second and uh, forward along to them. I would really appreciate that. Uh, you guys are crucial in helping spread the word of Sarah Drum TV. Um, so, once again, thank you so much for watching, uh, and I will see you next time in Sarah Drum TV.